hello, welcome to another edition of Soccer As We Like It, the Man United direction. Breaking news! Man United have finally, finally got a technical director and a sporting director and a director of negotiation. So they got three for the prize of one. So that means the technical director, United now, first time in football history, United have got a technical director. They've got a football director. They have a director of recruitment or negotiation, whatever you want to call it. So that ends the discussion of United need a director of football. Yeah, we got it. So let's identify and unravel and unveil who these people are. John Murtoff has been at United for seven years. Been doing, they call him Mr. Fix-It. He does all the deals behind the scenes, blah, 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 blah. He's going to be director of football, right? Then technical director, who's going to be Darren Fletcher, who played under Alex Ferguson, won a few league titles here, you know, good player, you know, whatever you want to see it as. He's going to be the technical director, which means he's going to be adding technical development to the academy and to football. Wait for this one. This one now takes a bloody cake. Director of negotiation, Matt Judge. The guy who has been behind all the failed signings of United players up to 20, from 2013 or 2014 to 2021. The people who keep unveiling players in January, even though they were signed in summer. I would like to be positive. Yes, we have a director of football. Yay! We have a technical director. Yay! And we have a chief negotiator. Yay! But these people, apart from Darren Fletcher, have been in the club for the last seven years. So my perception is, what someone said on Sky Sports, this is an evolution, not a revolution. My my interpretation is is the same bunch of clowns in a different circus that's what i'm saying same circus different clowns or vice versa see what i mean so matt judge and woodward went to university together they are friends ole john merton i mean ole fletcher mckenna carrick oh, will feeling all played for United in some capacity. According to them, know the United way. So it appears to me there's a bit of nepotism going on here. Nepotism is defined as the providing favor to a friend instead of giving it to somebody who is best qualified for the job, you give it to a friend. As in favoritism. Okay. But can it work? It can work if it's applied right. We don't want to be like Liverpool back in the 70s and 80s. The boot room. They had, Liverpool had what you call great managers. Bob Paisley, Joe Fagan, Roy Evans, all of them lot were all there. But the same thing is this. Appointing from within, ex-players and all that and all this. Bill Shankly had a, was a manager of Liverpool in the great 70s era. Then he appointed Bob Paisley who was his boot room manager or reserve team manager when Bob Paisley took over Bill Shankly he appointed Joe Fagan so it's the old boys club but when it came to the 90s it all completely fell apart but this is the thing this can work but these players who have been who know the United way played for United in an era of success can they bring United from the brink of the Arsenal philosophy, which has completely failed, can they retrieve the gold from the burning ashes? Is the question. Are they qualified enough? Are they experienced enough? Are we just doing this to just shut people out? Like, we've got to take the director, shut up, what are you talking about? Darren Fletcher, has he got experience? I don't know. John Merton has been there seven years. We've not really seen much in terms of Director of football, probability, running the operations of football. As for Matt Judge, that's another kettle of fish, mate. Because he is no better than Benny Hill or Frank Spencer. Okay. I'm trying to put a positive spin on this. So we're just going to see how it goes. It can work, it could not work. It could fail, it could succeed. But 
were they the right people for the jobs? In some cases, some people, someone just sent me a text. I'll read it out. Tim, this appears to be an old boys reunion. Matt Judge and Woodward, Ole, Phelan, McKenna, uh, what is it? McKenna, Phelan, and Fletcher. This seems like an old boys reunion. Is this going to work for United? It might not work. It might work. We have to give it a chance. We have to give the process. Remember that famous word? We have to trust the process. Anyway, other than that, our big game tomorrow against AC Milan. We have to do well. It's a two-legged tie. Goal differences and goal averages and goal aggregates do come into play. Away goals do count here. So United have to either do a clean sheet or do something marvellous. Like what you did against City. A tuning would be good to take to Milan. But hey, we just will never know. Till tomorrow. But I'll be doing a watch along. So join me on my watch along. It's, the link is just joining our channel. And just join and just watch. And we'll be watching the game along as United community. But other than that, that's what we have. John Murtough is the new football director. Darren Fletcher is the new technical director. And Matt Judd is the chief director of negotiations. <laughs> I will see you guys for the watch along. From me, it's goodbye and good night.